Well, happy Easter to all of our Reveal Him friends and family. I just wanted to let you know that we have a gift for you that we're going to make available. Um, before I reveal that gift to you, I just want to take a few minutes to share something about Easter. So for 27 years, I celebrated the resurrection of Jesus. I understood that God's power was released that gave Jesus the victory over sin, Satan, and death. But I never understood how that same power was given to set me free from the same things, that his victory was my victory. I didn't understand that when Jesus died, I was united in his death. That, that everything that came through Adam was placed upon Jesus and died when he died. That the old man, the old nature that came through Adam was crucified with Jesus. It was left in the grave. And I didn't understand that when Jesus rose from that grave victorious, I rose from the grave victorious also, because now I was one with him in his victory. That I was in Adam, and because of the power of the resurrection, I am now in Christ. See, Paul says that I was crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who lives. He's talking about the man who came through Adam, it is no longer I who live, but it's Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God. See, Paul tells us that because of the work of Jesus, we have become brand new creations. All the old has passed away and the new has come. That's the Easter story that God sent Jesus to restore everything that was lost through Adam so that we could live the victorious, abundant life that he planned from the beginning. So what we created was this amazing artwork that's printable. And this tells you who you are because of what Jesus has done. So I want to read this for you. It says, because of what Jesus has done, I'm a child of God. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Romans 8.16 I am a new creation. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 I am blessed. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. Ephesians 1.3 I am free from the power of sin, for he who has died has been freed from sin. Romans 6.7 I am healed, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. 1 Peter 2.24 I am delivered. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Colossians 1.13 I am righteous and holy and that He put on the new man which is created according to God in true righteousness and holiness, Ephesians 2.24. I am in Christ, and you are now in him, made full, having come to fullness of life. In Christ, you too are filled with the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and reach full spiritual stature. And he is the head of over all rule and authority of every angelic principality and power. Colossians 2.10 And I am powerful. I tell you this timeless truth. The person who follows me in faith, believing in me, will do the same mighty miracles that I do, even greater miracles than these, because I go to be with my Father. 
for I will do whatever you ask me to do when you ask me in my name. And that is how the Son will show what the Father is really like and bring him glory. Ask me anything in my name and I will do it for you. See, this Easter, I want you to understand, because of Christ, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we want to give you this gift. You can put it a frame around it. And it's a great reminder of who you are because of what Jesus has already done. So if you go to our website, revealhim.life, you'll be able to print this out as a gift. You guys have a great Easter. We will be broadcasting our sermon tomorrow at around 1045. Love you guys. We'll see you soon.